Okay, Jenna, this is for you. We are going to solve this log equation, but notice that we do have different bases for the logarithm. But it's okay because we have the change of base formula for the logarithm. And let me write it down right here for you guys. Suppose today we have log with base b, and then let's say the input is x right here. Well, this b can be anything that you want as long as it's legit. For example, b cannot be 1. Otherwise, you'll be dividing by 0 later on. B cannot be negative well, in the real world. So let me just you know, stop right here because as long as B is legit, you're okay. This right here is the same as saying log. In fact, you can put down whatever base that you want right here. You can put down log base of 2, log base of 7, doesn't matter. Let me just leave it as this because usually we do have a log key on the calculator. So I usually tell my students this is the same as log of x over log of this number, which is b. Notice that as long as the top and bottom, they have the same log, you are OK. This is technically log base 10, log base 10. And of course, we like to use the natural log. So in fact, this is the same as saying natural log of x over natural log of b. And natural log is, of course, log base e. And then on the bottom here, we have log base e. And again, you can put whatever number that you want right here. But I'll stop right here. So that's the first change that we need to do. Let's look at this right here. The base is 4. This means I will just take natural log. And then we'll put the x right here over. I will put down natural log of 4, like that. Yeah. And then for this one here, let's just add natural log of x over natural log of 2 this time equals 6. Good. So that's pretty much the first step. And now look at 4 right here. 4 is the same as 2 squared. Why do we need that? Because let's just put this down in green so we have some Christmas color. Natural log of 2 squared right, for the 4 because when we have 2 squared, we get to bring the power 2 to the front for that. So you see this equation becomes natural log of x over 2 natural log of 2 plus natural log of x over natural log of 2 equals 6. So we are lucky they both have the natural log of 2 in common. So this is much more doable. And to finish this up, let's just multiply everybody by the lowest common denominator, namely 2 log, well, 2 natural log of 2, like this. So let's multiply by 2 natural log of 2. Okay, when we multiply this and that, of course they cancel, and we just get natural log of x, and we add. When we do this, times that, natural log of 2 cancel. We have 2 times this, so I put down 2, natural log of x, and this is equal to, and when we do this times that, 6 times 2 is 12, and then we have the natural log of 2, like this. And now, for this equation, for this part right here of the equation, I want to combine the logarithms. And to do so, you have to make sure the coefficients are 1. This is not 1, but it's okay because we can bring this and make it into a power. So it's like the backwards of that. So when we do that, this is this natural log of x plus natural log of x squared, and this is 12 natural log of 2. Of course, you can bring the 12 up, and perhaps let's do that. Why not? You guys will see this is actually going to be pretty cool. Natural log of 2 to the 12th power. Anyway, this right here is what? The sum of two natural logs is the natural log of the product of this and that. In other words, this is natural log of x times x squared, and this is natural log of 2 to the 12th power, like this. And now, of course, this is natural log of x to the third power, and this is natural log of 2 to the 12th power. So, this is pretty much a simplification that we have done so far. And now check this out. In the real world, when you have natural log equal to each other, that means the input have to equal to each other as well because natural log is a one-to-one -one function. Therefore, we have x to the third power has to be the same as 2 to the 12th power, like that. And another way to look at this is, of course, you can do e to this power, e to that power, but I think that explanation was better. Natural log is a one-to-one -one function, meaning that 
If the output are the same, that means the input have to be the same. So we can draw this conclusion. And you can just now take the cube root to both sides, or maybe raise both sides to the one third power. Perhaps this is more legit. So that this is not cancel, and you get x is equal to 2. And then this is 12 times 1. Let's put this down, why not? Which is x equals 2 to the fourth power, which is 16. And if you do plug in 16 into all the x's right here, you will get 2 plus 4, which is of course 6. And that's it. Hopefully you guys all like this nice video. Thank you. Be sure to subscribe if you have done so already. Thank you so much. As always, that's it.